Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 5 Afterward, Moses and Aaron came and said to Pharaoh, This is what Yahweh, the God of Israel, says, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. Pharaoh said, who is Yahweh, that I should listen to his voice, to let Israel go? I don't know Yahweh. Moreover, I will not let Israel go. They said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please let us go three days' journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to Yahweh our God. Least he fall on us with pestilence, or with the sword. The king of Egypt said to them, Why do you? Moses and Aaron, take the people from their work. Get back to your burdens, Pharaoh said. Look, the people of the land are now many, and you make them rest from their burdens. The same day, Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, You shall no longer give the people straw to make brick, as before. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. The number of bricks which they made before you require from them. You shall not lessen the amount, for they are idle. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let heavy work be laid on the men, that they may labour therein, and don't let them pay any attention to lying words. The taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spoke to the people, saying, this is what Pharaoh says. I will not give you straw. Go yourselves, get straw where you can find it, for nothing of your work shall be lessened. So the people were scattered abroad, across all the land of Egypt, to gather stubble for straw. The taskmasters were urgent, saying, Fulfill your work quota daily, as when there was straw. The officers of the children of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded, Why haven't you fulfilled your quota, both yesterday and today, in making brick as before? And the officers of the children of Israel came, and cried to Pharaoh, saying, Why do you deal this way with your servants? No straw is given to your servants, and they tell us, Make brick, and see, your servants are beaten, but their fault is in your own people. But he said, You are idle! You are idle! Therefore you say, let us go and sacrifice to Yahweh. Go therefore now and work, for no straw shall be given to you. Yet you shall deliver the same number of bricks. The officers of the children of Israel saw that they were in trouble, when it was said, You shall not lessen anything from your daily quota of bricks. They met Moses and Aaron, who stood in the way, as they came out from Pharaoh, and they said to them, May Yahweh look at you and judge because you have made us a stench to be abhorred in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of his servants to put a sword in their hand to kill us. Moses returned to Yahweh and said, Lord, why have you brought trouble on these people? Why is it that you have sent me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in your name, he has brought trouble on these people and you have not rescued your people at all. Exodus 5 